In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add shaders to Minecraft 1.19.1 because even though Minecraft 1.19.1 is barely out, we already have a way to add shaders and you're going to learn how to in this video. Also, make sure you watch this video until the end because I heard many of you are having issues installing the shaders. So I'm going to show you some possible ways to fix this issue. Let's get started. And just before we get started, let me tell you real quick about Minecraft Apex hosting. If you click on the first link right now in the description, you'll get 25% off with Minecraft Apex hosting, making your own Minecraft server. It could be Java, Bedrock, it could be a modded, non-modded server. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do, it could be Fabric Forge. And another amazing thing that they have that I particularly like a lot is that you could access a server console through your phone, meaning that you don't have to be at home to change the settings on your server to make it daytime, nighttime, etc. That's in the first link in the description. If you want to open your Minecraft server, go ahead and check that out. Let's get started with the tutorial. And step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Iris shaders. For those of you that like to read and go slower and seeing screenshots, etc., that is down there in the description. Anyway, the main thing in here once we click on that link is to scroll down until we find the download iris here we're going to click on that button that is going to redirect you to the official iris website and in here we're going to click download now which is going to change us over here to this page and in here we're going to click download universal jar that is going to start the download for me it asks me where i want to save it just go ahead and click save now for you it's just going to start the download immediately most likely and you don't have to save it anywhere it's probably going to save in your downloads folder automatically once we have the iris installer i'm going to go ahead and drop it into my desktop now ideally we will want to install iris already right like just double click install the jar files but the thing is that any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to update java in your computer now luckily we do have a guide on how to install java but i'm going to show you real quick in this video just go ahead and click on that third link in the description which of course is our written guide on how to install java now we have java 18th in here I'm pretty sure that you could also get it to work with Java 17, but I like to update Java to the newest version there is. So, so once you're here in our guide, just scroll down a little bit until you find download Java here. Go ahead and click on that button that is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to scroll down, select Java 18 or 17. It's up to you, okay? Just Java 18. Go ahead and click on Windows and then click on this little line in here, which is going to start the download automatically. Again, it asks me where I want to save it, but it's going to save it to your downloads folder for you. Once you have JDK 18 downloaded, which is the installer for Java, go ahead and drop it into the desktop. Now we have Java 18 ready to install and now we have the Iris installer. Now I'm going to minimize the browser and I'm going to start installing things. Now, before you install the newest Java, I do recommend that you get rid of the older version of Java if you have Java 8 or something like that, because you don't want to have two Javas running at the same time. So just go ahead and click where it says type here to search. We're going to type out of remote programs and we're going to open out of remote programs in here we're going to click where it says search this list we're going to type java and as you can see we have java things installed many of you will have a different version so just click on it and click on install so we could update to the newest one as you can see i went ahead and got rid of my java just so i could go through the process and you guys could see how to do it anyways once you don't have any java installed go ahead and double click on jdk 18 which is going to prompt you with administrator sign once you click yes on administrator sign this is what's going to come up the installer for java go ahead and click next next and just let it install it should be a fast and easy process and let's just wait for this to finish and as you can see java i think has been fully installed go ahead and click on close and we could get rid of the installer we're done installing java now we're ready to install iris installer go ahead and double click on the iris installer and it's going to open this thing up in here we're going to select iris and sodium which should be selected by default and we're going to make sure that we select the game version 1.19.1 as you can see 1.19.1 we don't want to install any other version and just go ahead and click on install it should be a fast installation i'm just going to wait for that to finish and once it's installed this is what it's going to look like it's not going to give you any sign or anything it's just going to say installation succeeded here in the bottom and we could go ahead and close from this go ahead and close and now we could delete the iris installer now many of you you or some of you not many will say hey i wasn't able to install the installer because after updating java my jar files weren't working properly how do you fix that you might ask just click in the description in the link that says jar fix and you can read through our guide on how to run a jar fix which is super simple it's literally two clicks and it will fix your jar files that is just for those of you that had that problem installing iris but now we have iris installed we're ready to add shaders how do we add the shaders i'm going to show you real quick in my case i'm going to be using complementary shaders feel free to use any shaders you like the good thing about iris is that that is backwards compatible with a lot of Optifine shaders. Anyways, if you want to install complementary the same as me, just click on that link in the description that says complementary shader, which of course is our reading guide on how to do this if you prefer to read. But the main thing here is to click download complementary here. That is going to redirect you to the Curseforge website where you're going to scroll down and find complementary 
one. As you can see, they have it right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect me over here, where in five seconds, the download will start for complimentary shader. Let's just wait five seconds. In your case, it's going to download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save it. Again, for you, it's just probably going to go to your downloads folder. But anyways, if you have Chrome, you could always drag it out from here and put it in your desktop. Now we have shaders, we have Iris installed. Let's add the shaders to the game. Go ahead and close out from the browser and launch your Minecraft launcher. Once you have Minecraft launcher open, you should have Iris and Sodium selected automatically down here. Now, if you don't have it selected automatically, make sure that when you come to installations, modded is selected, okay? Just make sure modded is selected and any modded version of Minecraft will show. And if still that doesn't work, just click where it says new installation and where it says latest release, scroll down until you find Iris Fabric Loader and you can name this whatever you want and just click right here on the bottom right and that will create an instance of Iris. Anyways, once we found Iris and Sodium in here, we're going to hover over and click on this little folder that appears that is going to open a bigger folder. We can minimize the launcher and now here, we're going to scroll down until we find a folder called Shader Packs. As you can see, I have Shader Packs right here. Many of you won't have that folder at all, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and you won't have any Shader Packs folders. So what do you do? You just right click, click new and just name this Shader Packs, just like this shader packs as you can see you could go ahead and open that folder and drop in the shaders that you downloaded complementary shaders in now we're ready to test the shaders in game let's go ahead and launch minecraft go ahead and click play where it says iris and sodium and let's see as you can see minecraft has opened a way that we have to check if iris was installed properly just click where it says options in here and go ahead and click where it says video settings and as you can see the menu looks different if we click where it says shader packs we have complementary in here but we want to test it in game right so let's go ahead and click done and join a new world i have a new world right here where i was testing x-ray for an x-ray video on how to install x-ray which is probably gonna be coming up soon if it's not already up so let's go ahead and launch this world x-ray is not on right now as you can see we don't have x-ray well sadly my camera has died as you can see there's no video anymore but anyways the main thing here though is once we're in game to test the shaders we're going to press escape and we're going to click where it says options we're going to click where it says video settings and we're going to click on shader packs and we're going to select the shaders right so go ahead and click on complementary or whatever shaders you ended up using click on apply and let's just wait for that to load sometimes it's going to take very long just give it a little bit to load and as you can see we now have the shaders go ahead and click on done done and now we have the shaders guys <laughs> look at that let me change the view we have shaders and so we have complementary added to minecraft 1.19.1 it looks beautiful i love these shaders a lot and also the main thing about these shaders and the amazing thing is that if we go to a cave let's just get down here in the cave and the amazing thing about these shaders is that if you go to a cave or for example if you add x-ray right let's say that you add x-ray let me show you this because this is amazing let's say that you have x-ray by the way i'm going to show you guys how to install x-ray that video is coming up if it's already not posted and as you can see these shaders make ores bright up they make them shine right they make them light up and as you can see we have copper in here and if we go deeper we can see more ores being discovered and shiny which is amazing and it's another solution that i found if you don't have optifine because optifine 1.19.1 is not out yet if you don't have optifine we could use the x-ray pack and the shaders pack to see the ores which is amazing so anyways guys that is pretty much how to install iris i'm about to die in the game that is pretty much how to add shaders installing iris i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye